Hello and welcome to my channel ACR MRCP. I am Dr. Aparajita Roy and through this channel I bring to you exclusive tips and tricks that will help you pass your MRCP in the very first attempt. Moving forward with our very popular high yield topic series, today we will talk about an extremely important topic in nephrology which is glomerular disease. So today we will discuss my three key strategies which will help you to approach any question on glomerular disease. Let's start with the MRCP style MCQ first. Read the question very carefully and then we will discuss the answer. If you read this question carefully, you will be able to identify that this question talks about cryoglobulinemia. The pointers towards that are the patient has proteinuria, the patient has hypertension, has evidence of peripheral neuropathy, leg ulcers and DVT. All these point towards cryoglobulinemia which is associated with membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis type 1. Now this is where the concept building of medicine comes in. You have to correctly identify all the statements that are true for membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis type 1. In this case, the correct answer is number 4. Decreased C3 is a feature of membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis type 2 and not type 1. All the rest of the statements are true for type 1. So, in order to master these questions, the first and foremost strategy that you should follow is pattern recognition. All these sort of questions will be a complex interplay of the clinical features, the like the nephritic or nephrotic picture, complement levels, biopsy findings, immunofluorescence and any special character. As an example, I have made a tabular form of the membranous nephropathy. You can prepare all the other glomerulonephritis in a similar pattern. This is extremely important to correctly answer these type of questions in the MRCP exam. Be thorough with your preparation. In your own set of notes, prepare all the possible permutation combinations. I have given another example of the type of deposits that often feature in questions depending on their locations. Another set of questions that are very commonly asked are based on the complement levels. This is also a very important topic. The type of deposition, where you see linear deposition and where you see no deposition. You can also expect questions on no immune complex, also known as posse immune glomerulonephritis. Let's look at another question. This should be an easy one for you. Minimal change disease is a very common topic. It is an easy topic. You should not miss any question from here. Now let's look at the answers. Minimal change disease has selective proteinuria. So this is the wrong choice. You should know about the protein selectivity index though it is not very reliable in adults. This is not the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in adults. Membranous nephropathy is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in adults. Minimal change disease is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in children. Cyclosporin is not the drug of choice that is cyclophosphamide. ESRD is not seen in 40%, ESRD is seen in less than 5%. So, the correct answer is hypertension is rare. Minimal change disease is associated with normal tension. The correct answer is option number 5. My next important strategy is to identify catchphrases in the stem of your MRCP question. Now, the RCP has favorite themes that keep recurring in their questions year after year. In order to save time, familiarize yourself with these catchphrases and when you see them in your question in your exam, you will be able to quickly arrive to the correct answer in your options. However, don't forget to read the question carefully. Make sure you double check what the question is asking you before jumping to the right answer. To give you an example, I have accumulated some recurring themes in this video, but please understand that this is not an exhaustive list. You have to read through good question banks and textbooks 
and identify more of these recurring themes. For example, lipodystrophy was a recent question in this year's part 2 MRCP. In the question stem, it was referred to as the facial fat loss. Alport syndrome and IgA nephropathy are favorite RCP topics. Please prepare them thoroughly. In Alport syndrome, another important area of interest is that sensory neural hearing loss in Alport is non-progressive and the investigation of choices, audiometry. Another common question that RCP often asks is about an Alport's patient who has a failing renal transplant. The cause in that case is good pasture syndrome. The glomerular basement membrane from the new kidney acts as a foreign antigen for the recipient. As the body has not been previously exposed to glomerular basement membrane proteins. As a result, anti-GBM antibodies are produced in the recipient's body leading to good pasture syndrome. Continuing on the theme of recurrence after renal transplant, sometimes they ask this question. Please remember, membranoproliferative glomerular nephritis ranks quite high in recurrence, followed by IgA nephropathy, followed by focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. Here is another MRCP style question. Read the question carefully and then we'll discuss the answer. This is an easy question. From the given options, nephrotic range proteinuria is caused by amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is another important topic for your MRCP. So please prepare this topic very thoroughly. Now coming to the last and final strategy which is fact check. Now I often mention that MRCP is a concept based exam. 80% of your questions are concept based where you would have to arrive at the correct diagnosis by thoroughly reading the question stem, analyzing the given scenario and eliminating the wrong options. However, 20% of your questions will be fact-based and it is important that you go through question banks to identify what are the commonly asked fact-based areas from the MRCP syllabus. I have given a few examples in this video but again this is not an exhaustive list. A, a very common question regarding IgA nephropathy are the poor prognosis indicators. Indications of renal biopsy in minimal change disease is a commonly asked question. Multiple myeloma again is a very important topic. You must know this topic inside out. Regarding nephrology, this is a very commonly asked question from multiple myeloma. What are the various ways multiple myeloma can affect the kidney? So, Please prepare this part very well. Please let me know in the comment section below whether you are finding this series useful in your MRCP preparation. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I stay motivated to bring more such content to you. And also don't forget to let me know what other topics would you want me to make videos on. Till then, stay safe, keep studying and ace your MRCP.